Hi, welcome. I have just bought a new SSD system. I've installed the latest Arch Linux on it, so the, the big one. Open box is with the XFCE and i3. And I'm going to install everything again. So this is an installation video. What can you do next installation? What to do after a clean installation kind of video? And probably we'll get into things and fix them and you see my workflow, how I get all my data back. So I've made already a video like that, but every um, new installation has its own things that will happen. I don't know. We are just going to install everything. I have to do it anyway, so why not film it? And maybe there are some tips and tricks in here. You can It can help you. Okay. So this is the very, very last. If you want this, you have to build it. ArcLinuxB.com. You can have it now. Just run script 30. That's all you need to do. All right, this is my new system. So I went it, uh, to look it up. Um, I know people are watching all different kind of parts, the, uh, parts of, the, of the world, but um, this is the price we have to pay for a 500 gigabyte um, Samsung 2.5 inch. And I can't show you that, but uh, I buy also an, an bay, kind of bay. So I can open a hatch in front of my desktop. I put in an SSD, I close it back in, and I can switch from Arch Linux B Awesome to Arch Linux B Minimal, Mate, and so on. I just switch the SSD and I have a window system again, for instance. So you can keep things apart, say, say have fun with Windows, do your games and stuff, and then come back and switch the SSD to Linux and do your stuff there. Just a suggestion. Okay. So, clean installation. What I normally do with a dual screen is first go to my settings here in display and say mirror displays, which I'm not going to do since I'm recording everything now on, on this uh, same screen. But that's the first thing I'll do to have uh, the ability to have dual screen. What's next? I see a red icon up here. I see also a wallpaper that I know so well. So best thing is, well, if you give it some time, you will see that Variety will provide you with wallpapers. So in the meantime, it has been downloading already wallpapers like this one, which is kind of awesome, really. So close, super wallpaper. So view at desktopper.co. And if you have an account, log in, you can click on this little uh, cloud here. If you sign up, you sync it to your own Dropbox. So I'll never ever lose it, but we're not there yet. So I still have a lot to do. It's a clean installation. I cannot log in. I don't have the extension LastPass. I wouldn't know what my uh, password is. LastPass knows, right? So first things first, I have already a beautiful wallpaper. Now, if you don't like variety, and there are people out there, then you say start variety when the computer starts. No. Change the wallpaper. No. Uh, download anything. No. Uh, so basically it's now off. When you reboot, it will not be started. Start variety when the computer starts. So it's it has became a file on your system and it won't hurt anybody at this point in time. So if you don't want that, you just keep everything up and change wallpaper on start if you like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this wallpaper, wallpaper since I like it that much. Image, pause on current. So for today, I'm going to keep this wallpaper, pause on current. That's it. So this red thing here. So the red thing means you have an update. It means that you have all these things to update. And there's our Linux root here and events and Firefox and GNOME software. And you start reading names. Doesn't matter if you know what the name is, you have to start reading them. And it, it will stick in the end. After years and years, it will stick. And then you say, okay, that's, that has been updated. Maybe, maybe there's something wrong with the update. And then you can start to rethink and analyze what happened to your machine. Now I can apply here, or I can teach you also the Ctrl T. Ctrl T, there are a few aliases you should remember. Well, check them all out. That's one big tip, check them all out. But 
the main thing you need to remember is to update your system from time to time. You'll see that we have now different repos. This means we have this special package in, this mirror list package. So that's because of yeah, the latest version of Arch Linux, right? So you get all this information here. You can make this bigger because he says, warning, insufficient columns available for table display. So control C, if you make it really big, you won't see that warning anymore. And then you can compare. There's an old version, there's a new version, net change, download size. You can have more overview and more detail uh, to see what happens, one version more, etc., etc. So basically you say yes, and you update the things coming from Arch and the things coming from Arco Linux. Remember these words in the front. We have extra, community, community, extra, extra, core. And these are all the repos from Arch Linux. And there must be one there from Arco Linux somewhere. Here it is, Arco Linux repo. So you know that update is going is never going to update anything from the AUR. And this is a thing you have to keep a uh, lookout for, you have to, to, to watch that it's in there somewhere. It is separated quite visibly. So the files have been installed in etc scan. In Arca Linux, we, the, the folder etc scan is a very important folder. Whatever we put in there, in the ISO, will come in your home directory. That's the result. So all the tweaking in the configuration and the hours and hours of fine tuning of all these little elements we love is going to be in etc scale. And if we say, hey, we have a, a new alias or we can tweak this or and there uh, we can improve that, it's gonna come in etc scale. But etc scale will never be applied ever unless you copy paste all the information from etc scale to your home directory. Now, now you see there was an, this one line there. Something happened here. Arch Linux root, a package called Arch Linux root wrote something in etc scale. Now there are two options. If you want to learn, there is a new, um, a new alias. I'm going to look for it. Here it is. Backup scale. So. The backup scale, which is actually too late now, <laughs> but the backup scale is going to make a backup of the etc scale. You can read it here, more or less. It's going to copy paste everything that's in the etc scale to that uh, created hidden folder with a date, a year, a month, a day, and an hour, a month, and a second. So a backup scale is a bit too late now but let's do it anyway so you see what happens let's maybe open something up control h this is my home directory eric control h meaning view show hidden files so you see everything and when i put this one here put that one there and then backup scale is going to create a copy of what's inside my scale folder so before you update eric before you update you should do a backup scale so now i can't compare because i've overwritten everything already because of this article linux root okay but what i haven't done yet is copy paste everything from etc scale and put this one here it's important enough put it there Everything from here should come to my home directory. This is never going to be looked at only when you make ISOs. When you make ISOs or you make a new uh, root, a new um, account in your system, then it'll take all these files and give them, hey, here are all the files. It's going to be put in your home directory, but not after the installation. Upon installation from the ISO, yes, but not when you're rolling. So when you're rolling, you need to really copy paste everything. Now I was a bit tired to control A, control C, go to Eric, control V. I was a bit tired of that. So we made an alias and it's called scale. 
it's going to copy paste everything from etc scan to root. So, so sorry, not root, but your root, your home. So it's exactly the same thing as copy pasting from here. Copy paste this to there is now S K K E L. That's it. Done. So everything is now copy pasted. The only thing you should remember always afterwards is to check if we made some new aliases and these guys are in here. So compare and if the machine says everything is the same, you don't need to do anything. But as you see, we've improved the backup scale. We have made a different kind of, um, uh, well, code. And the, this command is actually also um, reliable or will work also on ZSH. We have bash, this is bash. Okay, where's bash? Here's bash, this is bash. There's also another shell you can try out and that's called the ZSH. And I don't recall the user, but there was a user on Discord. I said, hey, Eric, I have a code that works both on bash and on ZSH. So yeah, great, we've improved it. So we have a new code. So this is the new code, the latest one. So if you want that one, you need to copy paste it over to the left. So we have now two the same things. The only difference is now that I tell that my editor is nano. Now, if I want to save it, yeah, I just need to save it. That's one thing. But when I do a, a scale later on again, then I'm going to copy paste over again the old stuff from last time. So what I'm going to do is sell, say to this guy, bash RC, control A, control C, go to the scale, bash RC, control A, delete, control V, save. This means that next time when I type the word scale, it will copy paste this one, which is then the new one, the improved one, the one containing the newer bash, um, this, this backup scale thing, right? The new code, new command. So that's a fast way to just say, hey, next time you get something in, you can type scale. And then again, it's the only job you have to remember then is always to compare these two. Did we change anything? In this case, we did. All right, so that's one thing we've done. That was updating Arch Linux, Arch Linux. How about a war? If you do it in this, in this sequence, then the next thing you do is this one. Since Arch and Arch Linux is done, the only thing that's left now to be updated is a war. If you start with this one, it will just update everything. So there are a few things to do. Omox, Pamac, Hour, and Vivaldi need to be updated. And it will it will do its job, and that's just fine. What I'll do in the meantime is log in into my Vivaldi browser, which is here. Position everything the way I want it. Don't want Inkscape now. Don't want Genie. Peek, nah. Simple screen recorder, I am recording a lot. So yeah, sublime text. I'll use it with right mouse click. JPEG not necessary. And another browser and file manager. These are the things that I really need. And GIMP not either. This as well, I don't use Melt in the sense that I use Super F5. That's my shortcut to get Melt. Or right mouse click, compare. So these guys I need always. There you go. So you just change and you also change the look. So right mouse click and then control and preferences. And then you choose maybe a uh, theme that's more appropriate. That's a nice one for the wallpaper. What's that? Okay. There are 70 things to choose from. That's a nice one. A lot of choices. One of them will be suitable for your wallpaper. Now, let's take a black, I always take a light one. Let's take a black one. So what I'm going to do now is to log in into Vivaldi, which I need to keep kind of private. So google.be, and I'm going to log in here and then come back to you. 
Okay, I'm logged in. There's my little face here. And I need to go in my train of thought, in my workflow. I will go to Drive. And I have created a folder, Get Started. And I do a right mouse click, make a tar GZ from it. Why? Because Google Drive does, um, yeah, Google Drive, say it correctly, does not remember if a script is executable. So on the other computer, on the drive, it says executable. Then it goes to the cloud, it forgets it when I download it. So what I do is I zip everything or tar GZ everything, compress everything. Now the, 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 the files are still executable and it's this one I'm gonna download, but it's actually just a compressed thing from there. So downloading that, okay, save. Bye bye. In the meantime, this is installed and we're up to date. Well, so that's just updating. Does it couldn't be easier? You have update and uh, maybe backup scale and scale, and then you have PKS YUA, and that's it. We're up to date, we're rolling. And if the, we changed a uh, version, you can go to LSB at a release and change that as well. That's basically it. Right, I downloaded something. Let's have a look. Control H, downloads, get started. Extract here, get started. Okay, so that's one and another one. These guys are the folders I always use for uh, this project. I have the Arco Linux projects where everything is for the Arco Linux ISO. Here are all the scripts for the Arco Linux B the build, arclinuxb.com, and this is the one for Arclinux D ISO, and that's all the scripts for Arclinux D, github or arclinuxd.com. So these guys are Arclinux, but this is related to my personal githubs, so Eric the Wag GitHub. What I'll do is just say, well, actually I've made a new script. I don't think it was in last time. What I normally would do is just copy paste that over, etc. What I've done now is make a script, of course. Either it's going to be a minimal SSD, when I just say I'm going to test awesome, or I'm going to say this is going to be my working SSD. Like this one, 500 gigabytes SSD, this is going to be a working, right? Not 120 gigabyte, this is 500 gigabyte. So I'm going to use this one. Now let's open it together. You can make something similar if you think this makes sense to you. So the idea is how to, to be up and running as fast as possible. So I've made this. Said, look, update everything. We've done that. This equals actually, this is the same as update. That's the alias. What this says is an alias. And then update this again. What this is, is actually PKS YUA. Okay. And then just to be sure, I don't want to see Yahoo anymore. I want to try out that all the scripts work without Yahoo so that everything is, is dealt with in our Linux B anywhere, uh, and my personal GitHubs and all that. So there is no Yahoo installed. I'm pretty sure of that. So maybe you'll see an error because of it, because eh, normally it should not be installed. Just try out. Okay, then the last, uh, the, the next thing is last pass. So you know when we uh, log in, there is a possibility to keep your passwords secure online and encrypted in lastpass.com. There are other alternatives, but that's the one I've chosen over time. It's also the one I'm teaching at school. And it's, it's, um, it pays off. It's super interesting. Every individual website has a very long complicated password okay and then what it does here is going to copy paste the bookmarks i have which is now deleted okay let's uh, clean that up so this can go away save everything that is called arc linux so arc linux arc linux d and b copy it to my home directory everything that's called data copy to my home directory and then I'm going to make sure that all the scripts in there are actually 
executable, executable. So RWX, check out permissions, Linux, RWX, read, write, execute. And then that being said, move inside data. That's the, the, the manual thing I had to do all the time. So I said, no, I'm done doing things manually. And then I'm going to say, go inside data and get my GitHubs. Well, check out later what's this thing. So this is another script that's in the folder data that I launch. Then when that's done, I say to the guy, get out and go, no, well, actually go deeper, one deeper, go inside Article Linux Nemesis and then start running all the things that are in there. There's all the names that are in that directory and one deeper, the personal folder. So and then I'll, this is done, this is all Article Linux stuff, the Nemesis stuff. When that's done, then go back and, and go to the Article Linux level or folder, get all the GitHubs, get all the GitHubs and get all the GitHubs. That's basically what this line says here. Go get me everything from the net. And then it's done. So and then you can say, Echo, you're done. Right? And then some, some fun. Congrats. <laughs> basically, that's it. So the start here and the other one is just a smaller part. So I don't want everything to be installed. It just wants the minimal part, minimal elements to be started. And that's uh, again, update me everything and delete me the word if it's available, install last pass, get me, uh, copy everything from Arch Linux and data, make it executable, copy in data, get me Arch Linux Nemesis, then run everything that's from Nemesis. That's it. Stop. So I don't want to see here all my Arch Linux D GitHubs and B GitHubs and, and so on. It's just the minimal. Okay, so that's how I proceed. That means I need to go, let's put this one here, that one there. And I'm going to say, this is not going to be minimal. This is a one for everything. So is updating. Yahoot is out. So you see the Yahoot is still inside the ISO. We told you we'll keep it a few months around, but it's going to go out. So if you have scripts running Yahoot, get rid of it. Um, it will not be supported anymore. Yay and Trizen are today the new AOR helpers. LastPass is being installed. Maybe we should open it here as well. We can click here and then like this, you can follow along. So Yaourt, get out, remove, LastPass install. And then he's going to go inside GitHub one. Meaning, let's see what it does first. It goes first to data. So inside data, he's now, oops, no, he's not inside data. Oh yeah, look where we are. We are in downloads. We should not be in downloads, we should be here. So he copy pasted everything already and he's making them right now. As we speak, you see them come in. So the script that I wanted to show you is this one. You can change it any way you see fit. Just gonna zoom in on one thing. I make a count, count zero. So the variable, I always say it's a drawer and in this drawer, drawer you put a number. So it's now, zero is now in the drawer, right? That means that the drawer is zero, zero plus one equals one. So one goes into the drawer. Echo GitHub count one. So echo GitHub one, I mean, without the echo, GitHub one, echo means print. If there is directory, home, data, Arclinx Nemesis, if there is something, don't do anything. But if it's not, that this is if it's not, if there's not a GitHub, if there's not a folder called Arclinx Nemesis in data, then get one, get the 
git clone HTTPS, then get everything from the net. Go inside it. So if there is, and the next, well, that's 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 when it ends, right? CD, Arch Linux Nemesis, git pull. I mean, we just got it. Git clone means get the information. And then you say git pull again. I mean, there's nothing to pull. Everything is there already. So here you see already up to date. Arch Linux is done. So cloning is git clone. That's this, this thing. Everything is coming down, 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 down. And then it says here already up to date from the git pull. Now, the next time you run this thing, it will find a folder and it won't do anything. It will go inside the folder and get new stuff. So when I work on different computers, I push to the net and on this computer I say, oh yeah, I made a change. So I run the scripts and everything it gets pulled again from the net to this machine. So I have the same code as on the other computer. Okay. Makes sense, right? And this is just telling, okay, what's the base name? The base name is the folder it's in at that, that, that particular moment. And then say done. So where is that here? So this is the folder name. This is the result of base name from, of the present working directory. So the PWD present working directory. And that's this name. And for the rest, write done behind it. And that's it. Move one level up. This is move the level back up because here you said go inside. One deeper and here I say one up again. And so on and so on. The rest is copy. Just is repeating, repeating, repeating. Just with other names. Antergal cinnamon, antergal cinnamon, antergal cinnamon. Okay? So that's how I update all these, I know, huh, lots of things. Control A. 65 personal GitHubs. But it doesn't end there. Arch Linux D has also GitHubs. Let's see where it is. It's now installing Sardi Orba Colora. This is also quite interesting. Platinum searcher bin. It's an, a little application where, for instance, let's have a look. So open terminal, also a very good tip. So yay, Platinum is, is enough. And then you see I think I take this one, the bin, because that's easy to install, the binary option, and platinum, so PT. PT what? Let's think about it. PT Sardimolo. Is that going to get us something? I guess so. So I tell platinum to look for the word Sardimolo, and he's going to investigate inside the files. So inside the file, SAD of the folder, SADI Vintage, SADI Vintage Changelog, there is the word SADI Mono. Inside the folder, Arclinx Nemesis, Nemesis, AOR, install, you'll find as well the reference of SADI Mono. So it's an easy way to replace and to improve Catfish because it does not always find what's internally in a file. And this really does the trick for me. So this platinum thing will look and read search inside the files so the, that's a um, neat little trick that i have never mentioned i think before but i've been working with it i think over a month or two or so so it's quite handy to have around so he's installing all that if that's done he'll move to i don't know this one maybe or that one maybe or that one maybe so updating Maybe let's go over. Updating means getting everything from the net. And if there is something I should change, this one pushes everything to the internet. If, um, for instance, I everywhere change a name, I can separately push every GitHub. Or I can say, I can run this script, and this script is actually going to push a reference to all the GitHubs. So I ask, hey, what's the input? What's the commit? Read the input, and then it's going to post this commit to every GitHub I have. Arch Linux D then, right? And the other is Arch Linux B. And that's the way I try to 
stay on top of things with the help of scripts. So like this one is also something quite nice, I think. <laughs> this little line, all this, lots of uh, theming, all the rest. So it's the only thing you actually need to to know is this one, that one, and so five lines maybe six six seven lines and all the rest is just rubbish is going to build all the isos i could ever wish and could make manually so all the article b can be just run and then walk away i think it's about three four hours five hours i don't know to build everything it was more to upload everything um, i think it was around eight hours to finally get everything uploaded so it takes some time but it does the job alone without me in a neighborhood it builds it all on itself so how many are there let's do two things at the same time I'm gonna run this separately and all the Arca Linux awesome githubs from the Arca Linux B um, I mean are coming in they're all awesome but uh, awesome is a desktop Let's see how many there are. Here you see numbers, get up 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There you go. These are all our GitHubs coming in. It's that easy to be online again, to be productive again. Just get your data again inside. It's 18 folders. Let's have a look. Awesome, also minimal, PSP, okay, cinnamon, deeping, uh -huh, GNOME. Gnome Minimal. We're missing Gnome Minimal. Have I already created that one? Arco i3, Arco Minimal, Arco Mate, Open Box, Open Box Minimal, Arco Plasma, Plasma Minimal. Hmm. Let's have a look. I was working on Gnome, but uh, let's see what Google finds. Oh no, not Google. Google will not do it. Search Bing. Ugh. So it's Google, and I don't think it will work here. We need to put it here now. So, GitHub, here it is. Okay, our cognome. Now, the minimal is still in production. You can't get that one yet, but um, there you go. Everything is now still. This is Arch Linux already, so it's in here now, and getting everything from Arch Linux itself. So this is okay. This is this will do its job. What else can I do after a clean install? Well, basically the fun is already there. I mean, Control Alt S is going to log me in. Um, what I always will do is, of course, first get to Vivaldi, and I have to be careful what I do now. I guess Vivaldi was not there, so keep in dock, like so. What I can't do right now, I can show you, but that then that's it. Then I log in with an email and log in with a master password and then, I don't know, 700 websites get their login and get their password. So I'm gonna pause here as well. Okay, I signed in and uh, it, the thing here is red, as you see. Now, while we do that, let's close, no, don't need to close. Let's go in here. I'm gonna set my settings. I'm gonna show you what my settings are for Vivaldi. Open settings in a tab. I hide my status bar. Themes are going to be dark. Start page is pro. And then I go to keyboard. Don't want control B because that's bolt in WordPress. Search, I Google of course, set as default, save. Privacy, no web page passwords, last pass does the trick. And that one, I don't want that one. 
and then we can sync as well so here we can sync everything from our bookmarks so manage bookmarks oh wait a moment i'll show you the view first show bookmarks so this is not from me right never looked at it really first time i look at it <laughs> cheap old tells oh my god so get rid of it bookmarks manage bookmarks delete 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 and then trash empty trash then um, the bookmarks are coming these days not from a file but these days are coming from a sync so sync and then i'm logging with my vivaldi account a password and then there's an encryption password as well and then you get uh, everything in all the settings not all the settings but surely all the bookmarks so all the favorites up here so that is another thing i'll do i'm gonna pause okay so after a sync from the cloud i get my little raindrop so maybe you've uh, heard of that raindrop it's a way to start collecting everything everything from the bookmarks and everything that i don't really need but don't but do want to keep i put them in there and all the rest i have all the time i need all the time are going inside these guys right so that's everything that's uh, needed for me to work on this project and all the rest goes in here so that's um one thing now firefox is there as well so you know i do use all my browsers even though people say hey too much browsers i do use them all the time uh the same applies here so with this last pass account i will sign in and i will sync as well there's also a possibility here to sync sign in to sync and everything is going to come from the net so after a clean installation i've never ever left uh, miss anything anything because dropbox and, and google drive will come later as well so everything is still online and i'm going to get everything now all right so installing my last pass here and syncing from uh, firefox and everything is back as it was in the meantime i've um, made sure that firefox is also logged in and uh, i'm now gonna see that my my facebook here is also working so let me log in here as well so we can have some music after the login we can take a look again what the discover wiki is and listen to some music but um i guess we're pretty much at the end ah, there is an error here start here line echo command not found um, i have to check what that is or we check it together start here and uh, that's here let's do it like oh come on stay here so we are at the downloads remember get started what did we start we start start here version one so this one line 60 60 oh yeah that's that's the last sentence i've created so with a capital E, something totally different for Linux. And there you go. <laughs> now we understand what an echo is. But um, I won't update this script. It's the, uh, I'll keep everything as is. But um, there you go. I have now the start here. Everything is available. I have Arc Linux here, Arc Linux D there, Arc Linux B here. All these folders. I never had to work them out. It's a copy paste of my... Um, bookmarks that I, I use uh, so these things here um, I have is just uh, coming from my start here my setup so I need to well everything every computer I have if it's an Mate or a Gnome or anything really it has this division I really know I don't waste time finding hey where is it so and it's, it will be there to the left Control H remember etc scan so um last things are dropbox and insync so the things that are in your cloud mega is another alternative you need to do that as well and make sure you are uh, logged in so i'm gonna do this on my own if you don't mind so that's one thing first dropbox so i've logged in dropbox icon is working you'll see it disappear after three seconds all, all normal all fine 
and then it comes back and then everything will be uh, updated will coming along but what I do as well is say I don't want everything I keep some of the stuff online and that I don't need on this machine so in preferences you can also say what kind of um, folder you like to keep what folders to, to sync so I'm gonna change that okay this I can show without uh, harming anything so this is the selective sync I don't want to sync anything from Arch Labs I don't want to sync this one that one that one that one yes not that one that one that one that one or that one so only the wallpapers and the get started is the one I want to sync and that's um, it for me pausing again now the last thing I have to do is to sync everything that's on Google Drive and we have an application for it it's unfortunately a paid one but InSync is the one I have bought for I don't know 15 euros for the rest of my life so that I think that's a pretty good deal the only thing I need to go is is, is just type in a terminal InSync start I need to type this there's no button or there's no there is probably an InSync thing but I don't think I can launch it maybe we can because they're all there's a newer version around so there you go the newer version is now possible to skip this thermal thing and just uh, click the icon up here I need to add a Google account and then uh, yeah I can send this or not and once logged in into my Google account everything is going to be synced again I can say not that folder that folder that folder and then get everything from the cloud so going to sync of going to log in and um, check later and these are my choices so on my drive I I'm going to get everything from online from the folder Arch Linux don't want the source forced ISOs and don't want the ISOs let's keep them online don't want them on this machine if I want them I can always say sync again no it is this one sync to default location and then some Google Photos, I don't need the Google Photos, um, Linux stuff, music, pri uh, private stuff, school stuff, and shared, so shared with the team and shared with the beta testers. So these guys are all going to be synced and it's a lot of work, it's going to sync it, we can see it somewhere here, the progress. So it's going to download all the latest builds that we've made, that we've shared between the team and the beta testers and um, if that's done well I'll have all my information and actually my work is done I have a new machine everything is available I have a clean machine I can try out and experiment experiment again and install new stuff and learn new stuff and it's very easy to get back to a version that that you love that you like okay um, I'm gonna think a little while if I forgot anything. I just did the most important thing. Are my scripts here up to date? And they're not. So in one computer I have, let's do it again, Control A. I have, um, now how did I do it? Like this one, like so. 86 items and the other computer I have 88 items. So meaning there are there's a difference of two elements that are on the one machine and not on this machine meaning there must be something wrong with my update Arch Linux kits in the sense wrong that I need to update it simple as that so I need to tell the, the system look I am ready to make version 4 and what am I missing I'm missing a new github that we created for XFCE panel profiles so this is Atom, we can see everything to the left, what's inside the folder. And uh, what I need to do is actually create a new GitHub. And which is the one, let's have a look, which is the one, not that browser. So every browser has a meaning for me. So Firefox is for small letters, Firefox is for Arch Linux, and the other one is for Eric Dubois. So XFCE, it's this one that I don't have yet. So this one is the GitHub that I'm missing in my script. It's, everything is fine, but 
I'm just missing it in my script. So I'm going to go all the way down and do it alphabetically. I think I should come, let me check and roll over to my other PC, right back here. So it should come before this XFC tuna. So this is the URL and the code that you copy paste is this one. Control C, Control V. This is the URL. So Control, C, uh, Control X is better, like so. And we git clone that one, like so. We don't need the dot git, that's okay. He understands, he knows, he'll find it. But the thing is, that's the name of the GitHub, so that's going to be the name of the folder as well, otherwise that we'll have trouble. So here as well, everything is the same. That's it basically. I have now a new GitHub, my script is updated. Get uh, this GitHub, that's what this thing does. Update. So if everything is there already, it's a good thing we see it as well. So everything is there, you'll see just nothing, right? Already up to date, already up to date, fine. But at some point it reaches the very far end of the script. And I don't know, it's a uh, script 86 or something. And then he will uh, get git clone it actually. Let's just wait. Almost there. So you see how fast it is? This is what I do when I roll over to another computer. I first synchronize my GitHubs. And there he is, XFCE4 panel profiles. is new, has been installed. It's here, we can work on it. And here are the files you will share and let's edit it. That's how we should work. Now there's one, still one for me to figure out which one it is. So 87 here, 88 on the other. So I'm still missing one. I'm going to drag it down. Well, I haven't found it yet, but let's uh, finish this one as well before I forget it. So if I want to push something to the net, I have to do the same thing the other way around. So uh, again, all the way down, XFCE. So this line is just a copy paste. But then of course I don't have the other, uh, the other URL, which is this one. And I'm going to tell him, uh, this is the push. that this guy is actually that guy. So, Arclinux XFC panel profiles. A new name, a new application, and everywhere where it's mentioned, it should say the same. So, this one as well. So, Arclinux XFC panel profiles, git clone, the same there, the same there, again, save. The push is already gone and that one can go and update this as well. Done. So again, I'll roll over to the other side and see what I miss. I still miss one. Okay, I tracked it. In the other PC I had a ISO, I had a copy paste of a folder and a backup folder before I tried to sometimes put anything on the net, on the web. I just make a safe copy paste you know so I have a backup if something goes wrong so that was it so the script is okay I have, uh, I'm going to version 4 for this one and Arclinux B has here 21 items let's compare on the other computer that's correct and here 20 items in Arclinux D and that's correct as well so I am totally finished I am the only thing I have to do is make sure that I don't forget to uh, add these guys to copy to InSync. Like get started at Linux. So these two guys are out and these two are the new guys. 
and I do the just the same in Dropbox. I have a copy in InSync and I also want in Dropbox and Dropbox is here. Put it mostly behind it or before it doesn't matter and then get started the same here. So I have a, always a backup of these important files which help me get uh, quickly to a new start. So there you are, that's the workflow, that's what I do. Um, I have a new system now, everything is in play, I can listen to some music and I'm gonna do just that. It's Friday night, enjoy Arco Linux, enjoy your weekend. Cheers.